and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a super exciting one because today i will be reviewing the Altia brand new product which is the Altia petal velvet powder so i'll be going through the packaging the product itself how it wears throughout the day some demo clips for you guys so if you guys are interested in this powder right here then just keep watching but as always subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already also follow me on instagram at the Intash beauty like this video if you enjoy and comment down below what future videos would you like to see and just keep watching okay guys so as you can see i don't have any makeup on right now i just done my skincare and if you want to know more about my skincare favorites click the ring right here so you guys can watch the video but jumping straight into the video so i'm just going to be reading some of the claims from the altia website so this Altia Petal Velvet Powder is retailing at RM16 ringgit. So it claims to be a translucent powder that sets the makeup and leaves a very silky finish to the skin. And it is infused with oil from Altia seeds. This powder works to keep the sebum production, so it's an oil controlling powder, without drying out a skin for a radiant, fresh look while giving a gentle scent to it. So we will check it out later what scent it has. And it will keep your makeup up looking great all day and you can dust some of the uh, powder to just stay shine free so you can touch up on the go so this is the product itself this is the super cute and adorable Alzia petal velvet powder so i'll be inserting some a close-up shot so you guys can really see the packaging in and out so first of all you get this amazing beautiful like uh matte lid with the embossed logo right here it is super pretty and the outer jar packaging as you can see it's like a frosted matte it is so pretty but don't worry it is not glass so you won't be like breaking things or what and it kind comes inside with a beautiful like soft puff the puff is super soft and as you can see inside it has like holes right here so you guys the shift is actually the shifter so the powder can actually come out from it first if you get this product it comes in a plastic cover I already took it off because I've been using it few days so I can really give my full-on in-depth review for you and I absolutely love the packaging like the pink color the frosted matte packaging really it is so cute and so adorable but one thing I really need to point out is Okay, so as you can see, the holes are actually quite large. If you use like normal translucent powder, the holes are actually smaller. So I find it quite messy if you are going to like straight away pour and dip it and quite a lot of product actually comes out. And as you will see in the demo later, you will really need a little bit of product. So I have a little bit of the product onto the puff right here. And as you can see, you only need a little bit to cover like a very large amount of surface area so that is very good thing so I hope like the shifter can be a little bit smaller but I already figured out a way to how to work with it so if you are on the go this will be perfect to like use the puff but if you are doing your makeup and you really love this powder so much as I really do actually so I will be taking a fluffy like kind of brush right here so what I will do I will just straight away like stamp the product in and as you can see I got a little bit of powder and then I can straight away use it without using the puff and then re dipping out so that is one bonus point and just even though it has a little bit like bigger hole just like work it out so you can actually use it that way so that's about it for the packaging of the product and now moving on to the product itself so I first of all would like to check out the scent of the product so I think the scent is super mild because I am very sensitive to scent personally. I cannot take anything like too strong. But the scent is actually very mild and it's a very like mild floral scent which I quite like it. As long as it is not too strong, I'm usually okay with it. So the next thing is the texture of the product. So I just poured some of this out. So I'm just going to touch it and put it at the back of my hand. As you can see right here. And I'm just going to blend it in. And this is definitely the are right. It is super soft, like super lightweight. It almost doesn't feel like it's there. It is so soft. And as you can see, it just blends to the skin. And also, it doesn't have any white cast. So as you can see right here, it doesn't have any white cast. So that is very good even like for my skin tone. Like even I have a medium tan skin. If you use like some kind of powder that is too white, you will have like, like crazy white cast on your face. And this actually doesn't do that. 
So, so far this is giving me a super good impression already And now moving on to the application of makeup So I'm gonna be doing my foundation and my concealer as well And then using the Altia Petal Velvet Powder To just set everything in place So the foundation I'll be using is this right here This is the Wet and Bar Foundation And it dries down to a, like a satin finish So usually I always set it with powder as well So I'm gonna be like comparing how this powder compares to my other powders And this I'm gonna be using as my concealer This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer So let's move on to the makeup application Alright guys, as you can see, I already have done my foundation and my concealer and I didn't include the clip into my video because I don't want to make it so long and just to let you guys know, I didn't put a primer because I really want to see how the powder work of it and I also used a brush instead of a sponge to apply my foundation just in case you guys wanted to know so for the under eye, I'm going to be using this brush right here it's a super fluffy like a dome shaped brush so actually I already put out on the lid right the powder so I'm going to be just dipping it in as you can see, the product is there. And I'm going to be looking up so I can really get into the like fine lines of my eyes. So just sitting like that. And as you can see, there's like no severe like white cast. So just like that. And as you can see, my under eye area is looking very smooth. So just like that. So for the entire face, I'll be using the technique that I showed you earlier. So dip it into the pot that I say, as you can see, product just came out. And then just like put it all over the place. I'm just going to do half of the face so you can see the difference. So just like that. As you can see, it's a little bit more dewy right here compared to this side. Just going to set it. Okay, so what do you guys think? I feel it is very like soft, matte kind of finish. It's not overly matte as they say it's a, like a radiant finish. I really do see like my natural glow peeking through without putting any like highlighter on. So I think it is very nice and it almost feels like I didn't put any powder on. You know sometimes when you put powder and it has a, like a cakey finish, this doesn't feel cakey at all. It feels like so light but at the same time it's not too sticky already because there's light powder actually like keep the stickiness all at bay so that you won't be exactly touching the foundation so very soft and very nice okay guys so as you can see i just done my makeup right here and i didn't do any like eyeshadow because i am actually going to college later so you can really see like how it wears throughout the day and i'm just going to be telling you like what i put on my face so as for my like bronzing contouring i use the benefit cooler bronzer right here and for the blush i use this one right here this is the can make glow flow tricks it has a very like glowy finish so as you can see has a glow a little bit right here not to mistake it like the oil coming through from the powder not that but it's actually the glow from the blush and my list is actually the palladio uh, velvet cream lip color right here in the shade draw silk so this is my makeup details time now is actually around 10 40 as you can see and i'll check back in in a few hours later but i just want to quickly go through like when I first put it on I feel like my face is super light like super I didn't put anything on even I don't like feel I have foundation on already so it's a very smooth finish texture and it doesn't look cakey at all like seriously like it's not going into any of my fine lines for now so I'm excited to see how it wears throughout the day and I will see you in a couple of hours Hey guys, I'm back and it's now like around 4.20 and it's going to be around like 6 hours if I'm not mistaken and as you can see, the powder actually really held up quite well so I, of course it's getting a little bit glowy but nothing too shiny it's not like I can see like a visible like a grease right there and I feel that my pores are looking very like smoothened and visible I don't know where you can see or not as you can see here this like where I put 
the glowy blush it is definitely much more glowy there but overall on my forehead the shine is a little bit coming through but it's like it's like it's there but it's not fully broken out yet so I do believe that the oil controlling property is quite good for that and also it makes my skin overall looks very like smooth very flawless same as the first initial impression like I tried it on so overall so good and I think that after I'm gonna touch up now so that I can like prolong this foundation so until at the end of the open and then I'm gonna use the puff to touch up so one like this and you can see instantly you get quite a lot of product already so to ensure you won't get like a block of powder there just gonna tap once as you can see right there and because of the like you know the sifter the hole is quite big so you want to do this first because you won't get like so much of product onto one area so I'm just gonna take the product to just tap it and as you can see so little powder like it really needs so little powder to get like such a big area I'm just gonna tap that in And automatically you can see the like a uh, shiny part of the face right here and then you have like a very smooth matte finish already I'm just gonna continue to take it and then just pat it in it is super easy to do and then it, because the size it is so cute and adorable it, it can you really can just throw it in your handbag and it's so easy and as you can see it's like you just apply a foundation it looks so much more smoother you can just continue to pat it in wherever you feel those areas that need more so I'm just gonna pat on my eyelid so my eyelid doesn't crease because my eyelid does crease because I don't like use a uh, eye primer on a daily basis because I don't use eyeshadow so that's it so super easy to touch out and as you can see my skin is like very matte at the same time very like radiant look it doesn't kick it doesn't look much more cakey and because of the powder we touch up it doesn't look cakey at all and it feels super smooth right now overall this powder I do give a big thumbs up on it the most important thing that I love it so much is because of the very smooth effect that it gives and also it really does keep the oils at bay so that's why I really love about it and if you guys enjoyed this video and how I reviewed this please give me a like thumbs up so I can do like this kind of style of a uh, review video more in the future and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more of my upcoming videos and i will see you guys in my next one bye